In this video, I'm going to show you a simple coverage defense out of the dollar three two six that is going to absolutely uh, just put people in a difficult position. Something that you can use fairly fairly consistently. You could call this probably honestly sixty to seventy percent of the game uh, as long as they're not running the ball too much and you're not worried too much about the run. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new Madden videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Uh, we've got a ton of content uh, on our channel. I also want to let you know that I actually have a full dollar three two six ebook uh, in my Patreon membership. We're actually going to be updating that a little bit throughout the week this week uh, with some more concepts for you. Uh, but this defense is really really good. So uh, this is in the forty six playbook. You can find this in other playbooks as well, but I like it best out of the forty six uh, formation. And the reason why is simply because you know you're going to get the best. You're going to be able to do a lot of stuff out of the. Uh, uh, nickel 335 and 335 wide nickel normal and then you've also got uh, some 4-6 bear 3-4 bear type stuff that you could do if they're heavy runners uh, but what we're going to do here is we're just going to sub in safeties at the linebacker position we got corners over here uh, and we're just going to come out and cover one robert press now this is one of my favorite defenses in the game um, especially if they're in a situation that they have to pass because if you take a look here i'm going to get press coverage across the board Okay, so I don't really have to do anything. Literally, I just come out of the play, cover on Robert Press. That's it. If you want to press coverage, you can, but notice that really nothing's going to change. Okay, nothing's really going to change. Now, uh, from the coverage perspective, what I'd like to do with this is uh, I like to take McCordy here and I like to put him into a uh, curl flat zone, if you will. Um, I like to take Phillips. You could leave him on this three rec, which is actually actually a fairly decent adjustment. Uh, but I actually like to pick him and put him into that middle third. So now I've got kind of a cover one uh, esque type defense here. And then I'm going to take the defensive line. I'm going to crash him out a couple times. I'm going to then QB uh, or bluff blitz the nose guard. And then I'm going to user this guy on the blitz assignment kind of right in here. And what you're going to see is this coverage defense will actually play really, really well. There's not a lot that's going to beat it, especially out of dollar. Um, dollar, to me, is the best version of this defense. And the reason why is because a couple reasons. First and foremost, you're going to get the best alignment that you're going to get out of any defense to actually press the receivers at the line of scrimmage and get in their face. Secondly, you've got DBs all over the field, and so that's going to help as well. Now, if you wanted a simpler, a little bit more of a simple version of this defense, just put this guy right here in a curl flat, uh, if you will, crash your D-line up, and then honestly, that's pretty much all you need to do. And you know, you can even use the DT if you want. I mean, you don't have to use or anything. Uh, and what you're going to see here is I'm going to go to kind of a popular man beating concept. But because we have this three rec and the purple, that route to the running back is really not in a position where it's going to be able to beat the majority of defenses. Now, another thing I want to point out with this is uh, what I would recommend as well is the fact is you're going to get some, when they start to see that you're going to run some man, they're going to start doing uh, kind of some some you know man beating principles just something like this maybe kind of some crossers you know something like this um and what you're going to notice is these actually are going to play this fairly decent right um you just want to kind of lock on to whoever the crosser is um but as you can see uh, one of the best route combos in madden and we've completely bagged it so it's a real simple defense um if you want to send some pressure uh from this concept what i would do is take Gilmore here and put him on a blitz assignment. I would then take Phillips and I would man him up on the tight end, and then I'd kind of stand. Um, I'd kind of stand like right here this time. And what you should see here is it won't always come in, um, but it's just a simple concept. Can kind of push the pocket a little bit, and you know just kind of get them thinking a little bit in this defense. You know, if you wanted to, you know, really send pressure. Um, what you could do is you could do this and you would want to do this after you've established that you're going to press that slot a lot, but you could just blitz the, uh, blitz the slot and blitz Gilmore. And then you could take Phillips and man him up on the tight end, take McCordy, man him up on Scotty Miller. And now you're the rat in the hole that's going to kind of be in right in this little area right here. And you're going to find that this one, especially if they send five out, you're going to pretty much always get somebody free. Um, so you can mix this in uh, with everything else that we're doing. There's another play in this formation that you can do this out of. But the problem is, if you take a look here, it just doesn't 
the alignment doesn't look the same. And so that's the major issue. Um, you want your you want everything to look the same as a defensive player. Uh, you don't want because if you don't, you're gonna it's an easy tell. So what I would rather do is just quickly do the adjustments and then you know just kind of man up man up these guys individually. So we still have our man coverage. But now, uh, but now what we have is we have man coverage with some pressure. And you could crash your line down, too. Crashing your line down is just as good. Uh, it might even be a little better for this, this specific blitz. And as you can see, the pressure is going to come in every time. So this is a little two-play mini scheme that you can do. And then, and then, and then once you kind of get them guessing a little bit, then you could go to something like a, um, you know, a cover three. But you would want to have man a line on. And you want it to look kind of like this. And then if you're in a cover three situation, now what we can do um, is we can, you know, send two off one edge. So, so it kind of looks like this. Uh, but then we're going to be able to very easily uh, Mabel, right? We're going to be very easy to Mabel here. And then we've got a, a little, you know, pretty decent little coverage defense now. It looks exactly the same as our man coverage. And so maybe they throw this crosser blind and you've got a 30-yard cloud out there. So that's how you could kind of scheme this together. But... Anyways, that's the dollar three two six man defense, guys. I really like the cover one robber uh, for several reasons. Several, several reasons. Um, like I said, I think that it you don't have to do anything. You really don't. Like you don't have to press because you notice it only moves one player. So if I was running this, I would just bring this guy down, put him in a purple. Bring this guy down, put him in a in a in a, in a deep blue, and then I would you know maybe grab this guy and go right in here, and that's it. I mean that's it right there. And you're set up now uh, to be able to defend basically anything they're going to do. And you're just looking for the post or the, the slant that's getting open. So if you want to learn more about this defense, be sure to join my Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're getting access to not only my dollar ebook, but you're getting access to all 13 of my Madden 22 ebooks. Uh, I've got a new offense coming out this week and a new defense coming out this week. Uh, so I'm really excited to share that with you. Thanks again so much for watching all the videos on the channel. And again, if you're interested in the Patreon, head on down to the description below and click the link that I put down there for you and check it out. Thanks for watching.